Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to transform quadratic equation into the standard form. Now, this is very important because this is a prerequisite uh, when you solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula. The whole idea is to make the equation into this form in order for us to identify A, B, and C when we use quadratic formula. Okay, let's go answer the first example. Now here, all we need to do, I think, is we need to move 4x or or um, change the position of 4x and negative 5, okay? So 4x will go here, and then negative 5 is going to be to, to replace the position of 4x. So x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. And a here is 1, b is 4, and c is negative 5. So I just did that just to let you know that and emphasize that this is a prerequisite for solving quadratic uh, equation using quadratic formula. So when the equation is standard form, it's a lot easier for us to identify A, B, and C. All right, let's go answer the second one. 2x minus 8 equal three, equals 3x three squared. There are two terms on the left, one term on the right side. So it's a lot easier to move that one term on the right to the left. All right. So this is negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. A is negative 3, B is 2, and then C is negative 8. And as you notice also, when we're doing the transforming, there's no mathematical operation that is involved, right? Of, of course, I mean, when you subtract a term on both sides, that a mat that's a mathematical operation. But what I mean by that is um, there is no terms that you are going to combine because all the terms are uh, <clears throat> not similar. Okay, let's go to the next one, the third, second to the last. Okay, so we have two terms on the right, one term on the left. Let's just move that one term on the left to the right side. All right, so 0 equals 5x squared plus 10x minus 7. A is 5, B is 10, and C is negative 7. All right, last example. All right, so we have here 2x times x minus 5 equals 8. So if you see this, you just need to move or distribute that 2x to x minus 5. So this is going to be 2x squared minus 10x equals 8. And then move that 8 to the left. So now we have 2x squared minus 10x minus 8 equals 0. All right, so that's how you transform quadratic equation into the standard form to prepare or a prer this is a prerequisite when you answer uh, certain equations in solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Thank you for watching.